Hey guys, it's Dan. I'm back with a Pokemon Unite replay. I wanted to try out the new Glaceon, uh, recently buffed in some solo queue. Uh, my Slayer team has four Eevees on it. If our Blastoise player had Leafy on him, he should feel bad. Uh, but otherwise, we can go ahead and get on into it. I've been focusing mostly on top lane this season, but Glaceon, I decided to play some jungle, which makes sense in this comp. So we are just going to dive on into it. Uh, I'll just start my clear pretty quickly. Looking over up the other side, we've got a Mimikyu on there on top lane. They've got a Bulbasaur going jungle, and then a Charmander. Clefable going bottom. Uh, Clefable might not be Moonlight. It could end up being a Draining Kiss build. We've got guys running past each other to get stacks in. Stacks going in up top. Jungle clear is still happening. So it gets to level 4, and I'm also level 4. Neither of us are... My, my clear wasn't the best this game. Uh, we're both having pretty slow clears. Let's steal this. Nice play out of that Squirtle. But we had some uh, issues with our Silver and early Squirtles can try to hold it down. But seeing that I'm going to decide to go bottom first, because I think it has the best game potential, especially with that Clefable going down early. Team's playing aggressively. I'm gonna start clearing some farm in the back. I don't want to overcommit into a jungle and get myself close to the sixth of power spike. But that uh, I'm just really overcommits, which lets me just push forward on everything here. They're cleaning that up, and then I can put a lot of damage right on this Charmander. And actually, the Umbreon gets all those kills. I'm not stacking, so I'll let them clear it up. And then I'm gonna start heading back towards jungle. Taking a farm, because they're going to have to run pretty soon. I want to make sure the neutral farms are at least cleared. Looking up top, they're struggling to the brawl a little bit, but they do get that Mimikyu. The Umbreon's in decent position to make it an issue. And I'm not necessarily going to be able to gank top before going middle here, so I'm just going to get this last buff. And I'm already almost level 8 moving into middle, which is very nice. Good damage on my Ice Shard. Ice Shard is feeling a lot of attack speed. And I hit level 8, so I have an ult ready. Their Venusaur is not in a good position now in our SVM comes up and cleans it up. I would have been able to kill it as well, but that works out fine. Bottom lane, they're getting some stacks in. But I have decided to uh, kill this Moon Cute and come tank gank top lane really quick. See if we can get a huge advantage here before I rotate down bottom again. And there is no one here. So I marked them in a good to the bottom. Uh, I'll clear up these birds and then at the bottom they've got Venusaur on line now. They should be able to handle this. I'm coming bottom. Looking at the bottom here. Uh, even 2v3, the fight seems decently even. They've got 4 down there now, so we've got to get in to give us a shot. And I am able to come in and just start cleaning up some fights here. With the ult going up, Venusaur survives, but everything is in range here. I'm able to keep the Charizard at range. The LG Icicle Spears in. They're cleared out, and I should be able to get a break there. Uh, up top, Sylveon is doing okay versus this Mimikyu. Mimikyu also got a huge buff in the patch. But from here, uh, Glaceon's got really good single target shred, so I can get through this before I've got a chance to get down. Shred that up, and I'm going to say I'm going to go top. And Sylveon actually kills that Mimikyu, which is huge. So here, I run to top through jungle, pick up my buffs again. Looking over this way, uh, the Venusaur is level 9. We've got a decent level lead on them, it's nothing insurmountable. Blastoise is in a rough position there. He missed times the lead forward, so I don't get hit by the last ticket snarl. And they clean up that Alecky up top, so now we've got a little bit of a brawl happening right here. I'm keeping at a lot of range, but I'm going to go forward and try and pick up some things here. And we do clean up that Clefable as well. 
At this point, things are going to start respawning, and I don't want to push my luck pushing that in. So I'm just going to rotate through the jungle, see if anything is available. It is not, and the Q doesn't try to jump on me. And here we just move into the farm everything stage of the game. So we are up uh, decently big here. Uh, top lane's looking like it's going to have some issues with just this Blastoise. He's able to surf that Mimikyu, but it is going to fall pretty quickly. He's able to do a little bit there. Uh, Sylveon's able to get there. And then our going to be able to collapse on this and clean it up. I probably didn't need to ult there, but I figured I'd get one more in. At this point, we start running bottom. Uh, clean up what you can in the middle. And now the level lead is really starting to show. We've got the Umbreon at level 11, I'm at level 12. I don't know what that was, but it was weird. And Glaceon, it's all about playing at range with this build. I want to make sure that nothing's able to jump on me. The fables make me just a little bit nervous. It's playing grass pretty well. And I don't see the Charizard coming in. It's able to catch me and take me down. Which is rather unfortunate. I don't think we're going to have a shot there anymore. Sylveon's got a lot of single target shredded. You're probably going to be ripping this. I probably could have ripped before that Mimikyu got there. Not anymore, though. Still dead for a couple more seconds. But uh, our team does pretty well fighting back on this, and the Venusaur just absolutely lifts the Solar Beam so we get that bottom. They clean up bottom, and then I'm just going to be able to farm for the next couple of minutes to be ready for the Ray fight. I'm going to start moving up top because it looks like the Solar could use a little bit of help. It's been fighting this Mimikyu all game, for varying degrees of success, but we're able to clean it up. In solo queue, this is something I'm noticing a lot. Teammates are leaving goals completely unprotected. Our Blastoise should be down here. Or our Umbreon. Just look at that range, I'm able to kill that Charizard. I was... That's, that's just enormous range. Venusaur uses an ult early. They get a couple more things to clean up. Sylveon goes down, unfortunately, but we trade it for the Mimikyu. Two for two, and their Mimikyu's going to be down longer than our Sylveon, so we take that. I'm level 14, they've got two things at level 13, or Umbreon is level 13, which should be able to brawl pretty effectively. Uh, hopefully I can keep the Charizard off me during this Ray fight. We're going to be able to clean that up, but now we're going to be ready for the Ray fight. We obviously don't need to push Ray at all here. We're in position, they need to come in, we're not super clumped up. So one solar beam isn't going to be devastating for us. And Venusaur is just poking to try and find us. Last place comes around the back, which uh, Venusaur cleans up here, and then we've got a big bug here. They get a little clumped up and able to put some damage on them. And then uh, this Charizard, I want to bounce around with. I don't really want to engage on them if I can. We don't have the people here to set up for a rip. I'm just going to try and keep this Charizard at decent range here. They've still got to find a way in, and they're the ones that need to rip. And Umbreon is playing that goal correctly, so I'm not playing this goal correctly. And since I'm a rest damage dealer, I'm sort of chilling in the center. Their Umbreon gets a little aggressive. And then I put an Icicle Shard right on this Charizard. Which does a good chunk of damage to it. Uh, I eat a Solar Beam there, unfortunately, so I'm going to go home, heal up. And I don't see them ripping right now, so what I'm actually going to do is head towards the top in case they try to score top. I see uh, 
then I'm able to identify that all three right here. Umbreon should be able to clean up one of those at least. The Venusaur is a bit more of an issue, but I'm going to come in with an alt, and that'll clean up the Venusaur and the Charizard. So at this point, unless they score, we win. Their Umbreon is moving top to score. I'm going to see about intercepting it. And uh, Scorcher still doesn't want to play on the right stop it. And yeah, a uh, pretty clean uh, Glaceon game. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I really recommend trying out Glaceon this season if you're looking for a different character to play.